Comet Ison has once again brightened and has recently changed shape and taken on wings. It is now the winged disc with the eye at the center, matching the, the comet's name of Ison. So you have to ask yourself, where have we seen this image before? Well, if you look back through history, as I'm about to show you, you might be amazed. The winged disc. It can be found in hieroglyphs dating back thousands of years, even linked to the Great Pyramids, and in crop circles in recent years and in recent days. And to me, you need look no further than right here to have the proof that this imagery that we are seeing, the sacred geometry that we are finding within these crop circles and in these hieroglyphs is found within Comet Ison amazingly, as I'm about to show you. In just these two images, you can see the pyramid shape, which Ison with the classic eye at the top now has wings off of this disc. This spot here off of these wings matches the crop circle we just viewed with this point right here at the top. With Comet Ison undoubtedly taking on the effects of the Phoenix. This is a shot from one of Thor's videos. I'll leave a link so you guys can check it out. If you haven't subscribed to him, make sure you do him and BP. Um, they're doing great work out there collectively and this is a shot as BP mentions he touches on sacred geometry well that is something that I've studied on the past decade and I want to pick up where he left off on this image showing the sacred geometry that you can see right here I want to share with you a shot of Comet Elenin now they said Comet Elenin had broke apart and was destroyed well on its way in this was a close-up view off the HI-1, and this is Comet Elenin, and it was in a perfect tetrahedron shape, perfectly. Now, when we go back looking here at Ison, you can amazingly see the sacred geometry that is coming off this, the vibration of this, and you can, you can see the flower of life coming off of it. Now to break it down in simple terms, this goes back thousands of years. This is where the Star of David originates from. You're talking about the flower of life, the egg of life, and the decadahedron, uh, the tetrahedron as we just seen in the picture with Comet Elenin. And in the Star of David, you can see here the inverted pyramid, the upper pyramid, and how this all works once it's three-dimensional, running off of 13 circles and, and six points. So for those of you that want to know the meaning behind 13 and where it is derived from and six and man, this all breaks down to the platonic solids and Metatron's cube is derived by taking all of these platonic solids finding the node, the center point and connecting a line to each and every spot and this is the design or the pattern that you get out of this. This is said to be the building block of the whole universe. So you should be able to find it in space. And you can see this flower of life image right here emanating and how it spirals out. The flower of life being here and the fruit of life being here consisting of a basis of 13 circles and 6 points. Also, this is where the Kabbalah derives its Kabbalistic tree of life that Jews and other people go by. It is derived off this sacred geometry to help give you a better understanding of how this is all unfolding. It all breaks down to the knowledge of vibration. And these vibrations at, at certain frequencies give off certain sacred geometry and this is known in some of the forbidden knowledge that the elite of this planet use but amazingly you can see as we seen the tetrahedron in Comet Elenin the sacred geometry around Comet Ison matching this sacred uh, geometric pattern 
I'll be doing more videos with more updates and I'll leave links for you guys uh, so you can do some research on the sacred geometry and try to connect it uh, to what's going on here and like I said before we've seen this in Comet Elenin and here we're seeing it once again with Comet Ison and it has taken on the wing disc appearance the Kachino the Phoenix of legend I'll leave links. This has been Dabu7, Eyes to the Skies.